Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here. I'm an IRS enrolled agent with EA Tax Resolutions. And today I'm answering a question that I get from newly self-employed people out there that are wondering what to do for taxes. All right, self-employment income taxes is a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. Okay, so there's a few things we have to know. Number one is when you have to make the payments. Number two is how much these payments have to be. And number three, how you're gonna make the payments. Okay, to start with the first, when you have to make the payments. So the IRS is a pay as you go system. So if you're employed, you know that taxes get taken out of each of your paychecks. So you're paying taxes as you go, right? Now the same is if you own a business or if you're self-employed you're gonna be having to make these payments throughout the year. You can't wait till the end of the year to pay all your taxes. I mean, I guess you can, but you're gonna be hit with penalties. The IRS wants their money as you're earning the income. With that being said, you have to make your tax payments every quarter. And the IRS says these quarterly payments are due the 15th of April, June, September, and January of the following year. So on to number two, how much do you have to pay every quarter? The IRS says you have to pay either 100% of your last year's tax liability or 90% of your current estimated tax liability. So for simplicity, let's say last year, your tax liability was $12,000. So you're gonna have to split that $12,000 into four payments because we have to make quarterly payments, right? And so you're gonna have to make that $3,000 payment every quarter. Now the last thing you gotta know is how to make these payments. And good thing is, is I made a video on how to pay the IRS and I'll include a link in the description below. All right, so a quick recap on self-employment income taxes. Number one, you have to make your payments every quarter. That is the 15th of April, June, September, and January the following year. The amount that you have to pay either has to be 100% of your last year's tax liability or 90% of your current estimated tax liability. And the way that you pay is included in a link in the description below. I hope this video was helpful for you self-employed people out there. And if it was, please like or share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.